Ivanka Marie Trump was born on October 30, 1981, in New York City. She grew up in a world of tall buildings, fancy parties, and high expectations. Her father, Donald Trump, was a well-known businessman, and her mother, Ivana Trump, was a model and businesswoman. Even though Ivanka had a life full of opportunities, her parents made sure she understood the importance of hard work. As a child, Ivanka was very curious, confident, and independent. She loved asking questions and learning new things. She once said, I'm a big believer in asking why, even if it annoys people. You don't get answers without questions. Her teachers always praised her for being intelligent and well-behaved. However, she also had a mischievous side. At boarding school, she earned the nickname Ivanka Barrels because she would sneak cases of root beer into her friends' rooms. The nickname came from her playful habit of smuggling in the root beer, adding a fun, rebellious twist to her otherwise good reputation. When Ivanka was 10, her parents divorced, which was a hard time for her. She later said that she focused on her studies to stay strong. I knew my parents loved me deeply, she said, but I also knew I had to find my own strength. When Ivanka was 14, she tried modeling. With her tall height and good looks, she was perfect for the job. She modeled for big brands like Versace and appeared in magazines like Seventeen. But soon, Ivanka realized that modeling wasn't her true passion. It was fun, she said, but I didn't want to be a face in someone else's story. I wanted to build my own. After finishing high school, she went to the University of Pennsylvania and studied economics. She worked hard and graduated with high honors in 2004. She often joked, when I told my dad I was getting straight A's, he said, what's the point? You're going to work for me anyway. After college, Ivanka worked at Forest City Enterprises, learning about real estate. Soon after, she joined her father's company, the Trump Organization. She worked on big projects like Trump hotels and luxury properties. Unlike her brothers, Ivanka wanted to prove that she could succeed on her own. The Trump name can open doors, she admitted, but at the end of the day, you have to earn your seat at the table. In 2007, Ivanka started her own jewelry line and later added a clothing brand. One of the more unusual moments in her career came in 2016, when Saturday Night Live made fun of her perfume ad, calling it complicit. Ivanka responded with a smile, saying, if being complicit is wanting to empower women, then I'm guilty. In 2009, Ivanka married Jared Kushner, a businessman and owner of a newspaper. Their relationship had some ups and downs, as Jared's family didn't approve of their marriage at first, and they briefly broke up. But love won, and Ivanka converted to Judaism before they got married. She speaks proudly of her faith, saying it's a beautiful and grounding tradition. Together they have three children, Arabella, Joseph, and Theodore. Ivanka often shares family moments on social media and jokes. Being a mom is the hardest job I've ever had, but at least my boss is cute. Ivanka has always had a close relationship with her father, Donald Trump. He often called her his favorite child and admired her intelligence and business skills. Ivanka has said that when she was a teenager, her father once told her future boyfriends, whatever you do to her, I'll do to you. Despite his overprotectiveness, Ivanka has always been able to challenge him and speak her mind. Her relationship with her stepmother, Melania Trump, is polite, but not very personal. They respect each other's roles, but don't spend much time together. When Donald Trump ran for president in 2016, Ivanka became one of his top advisors. She was known for her calm speeches and smart ideas. After he became president, Ivanka took an official role in the White House, focusing on women's rights and family leave. She worked with people from both political parties, gaining both praise and criticism. One of the oddest moments of her political career came during the 2019 G20 summit, when Ivanka was seen talking to world leaders like Emmanuel Macron and Angela Merkel. Critics wondered why Ivanka Trump, who didn't have an official job in the government, was sitting at such an important meeting with world leaders. It seemed strange to many people that she, as the president's daughter, was at the G20 summit. 
Her presence caused a lot of discussion, with some people questioning what role she really had in her father's administration. Many felt it was unusual for her to be in such a high-level position without an official title. This raised questions about whether she was using her family name to get access to important events or if she was truly involved in the decision-making process. As the 2024 presidential election came to a close in November, Donald Trump emerged as the winner. Throughout his campaign, Ivanka Trump's role remained a bit of a mystery. While she played a significant part in his previous campaigns, this time she kept a lower profile and was not seen much at rallies. Some speculated Ivanka Trump advised her father privately during his 2024 campaign without an official role, sparking curiosity about her position. Though she stayed out of the spotlight, rumors about her future in politics continue. Ivanka hasn't confirmed any plans to run for office, but her influence in her father's successful campaign has left many wondering about her next steps. She has grown from a curious child into a confident businesswoman, mother, and public figure. Though she is often in the spotlight, Ivanka keeps her personal life private and focuses on her family and work. Her life is full of contradictions. Wealth and hard work, privilege and perseverance, public attention, and quiet moments. Whether people admire or criticize her, Ivanka has lived an extraordinary life. As she once said, Success isn't about luck. It's about knowing what you want and going after it, no matter what people say. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.